What's going on guys, Vast here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get unlimited XP on console Black Ops 3 Zombies. This works for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series S and X. You do need two controllers for this, so if you don't have two controllers, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do this. Anyways, first thing you're going to want to do is hop straight into your settings over here, go to network settings, and go offline. Once your console's offline, you can go ahead and launch up Black Ops 3. Once you're on this menu, go ahead and press A. And then we can go back into our settings and connect our console back to the internet. Then back into Black Ops 3. And then go down here to play online. But when you hit play online for the second time right here, you're going to want to back out and go straight into the menu. So play online, B, and then menu. Right there, our screen flashed after about 10 or 15 seconds. And you can see in the bottom left corner, it says press A to start. So you're going to want to press A. And then A again to select zombies. And then once you're loaded in right here, you're going to want to grab your second controller and press A to connect it to the lobby. Now on your second controller, you're going to want to scroll down to private game and then scroll down again to weapon kits. Go over to secondaries and then click on the Bowie knife. Now on your first controller, you're going to want to press A. And then on your second controller again, you're going to want to press B three times. You'll know you've done it right if your menu looks like this. Now on your second controller again, you're going to want to press A and then go over to secondaries again and then click on the Bowie knife again. Now back on your first controller, you're going to want to press A on the CUDA, create variant, and you can name it whatever you want. And then you're going to hit confirm. Then you're going to want to delete all your attachments off of it if you have any attachments on there for some reason. And then you want to put on these attachments in this order. Suppressor first, laser sight second, FMJ third, extended mag fourth and then rapid fire in the last slot. Once your class setup looks like this, you can go ahead and hit B and then save it. And then right here, you're gonna to wanna to delete any other variants you have if you have any on here. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and back out with both controllers all the way. Now that you're back in the menu, you can go ahead and close your app. And then you can go ahead and launch up Black Ops 3 again. Once you're back in the game, go ahead and select zombies and then we can head down to our weapon kits and make sure everything worked correctly. Head over to submachine gun, scroll down to CUDA, and as you can see right there, our weapon kit did save, so that means it worked. Now for this to work, you're going to need three specific gobble gums. You're going to need Perkaholic, Wall Power, and Fatal Contraption. Don't worry if you only have a couple of them, because with this method, you're going to end up keeping your gobble gums no matter what. Once you have those gobble gums all set up and everything, we can head down into Origins and start a game. Alright, once we're in Origins, you're going to want to head over to the gobble gum machine and hope to get a Perkaholic. If you don't get it on your first run, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to pick that up anyways, just to hurry the process up a little bit. You don't need shopping free for this, but it just makes it a little bit easier because you can hit the gobble gums for free. If you get anything other than a perkaholic off the bat, I would not recommend picking it up. So we got a fatal contraption right here. I'm not going to pick that up. I actually am going to head over here though. You're going to want to open these doors specifically. Do not open the door to no man's land over here because that will cause panzers to spawn and we do not want that for this glitch. Once you're here, just go ahead and end the round and uh, start spinning for gobble gums again once you're finished. All right, we got our perkaholic right here, so we can go ahead and grab that. Once you have your perkaholic, you're going to want to head back over to the starting room and grab the Shiva and the RK5 off the wall. And then just go through the rounds until you get a wall power. Once again, don't pick up any other gobble gums other than a wall power. All right, we got our wall power here. Make sure that you buy the Shiva and the RK5 before you get your wall power gobble gum or else it's going to completely mess this up. But now that we have enough points, you're going to want to bring your starting pistol back out and replace it with the CUDA off the wall right here. And then you'll see it's all glitched out right here. You can't shoot it. It'll just switch to a different weapon. And you'll notice if you try to pull out your CUDA again, it'll just give you absolutely nothing. So to get that to go away, you're going to want to throw a grenade and then you'll pull it back out. Now you're going to want to hit the gobble gum again until you get a fatal contraption. I'm just going to pick that up so we can spin it a couple more times. So actually, in this case, I didn't end up getting my Fatal Contraption. We did get a Death Machine drop, though, which works just as good. So you don't even have to waste the Gobble Gum. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to pull back out our CUDA, which is going to be nothing. And then we're going to throw a grenade to pull it all the way out. And then we're going to pick up that Death Machine. And do not press Y. Just let the Death Machine go away on its own. As you can see, our Death Machine's about to go away right here. Now that your Death Machine's gone, do not switch weapons. Keep your CUDA in your hand. And now that you'll see if you pull the trigger with your CUDA, you will actually be shooting a death machine. So you're going to want to come down into this tunnel right here next to the starting room. Now you're going to come down into this little corner right here and crouch. And then you're going to aim right into the spawn. Make sure you're not shooting the box like this or you will end up dying. 
You want to aim right there, right on top of the zombie spawn. And then you can grab a rubber band and throw it around your trigger and just let this sit here for as long as you want. For me, it took about three hours to get through a full prestige. So I would just throw this on in the background and then you could even change the input and go do something else. The reason it's so important that you have a perkaholic though is so that you get double tap and the only way you can get double tap on this map is with a perkaholic unless you go open up no man's land and turn all the power on and everything. And the reason you don't want to open up no man's land obviously like I said earlier is because panzers will spawn and then you will absolutely get destroyed and this won't work anymore. But yeah once you got your rubber band and everything set up you can sit here for as long as you want. Once you're done with your game though you're going to want to close app so that you make sure you keep all your gobble gums. That's pretty important if you don't have a bunch of them. If you have a ton of them it doesn't really matter if you leave. Also you do not have to set up the CUDA variant every single game. Just make sure that you do not take any of the attachments off or else you will have to redo it. Also, Origins isn't the only map you can do this on. It's probably the best, but you can also do it on Moon if you'd like. And I believe if you sit on the catwalk in Doris, it also works. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comments and I'll answer as many as I can. Anyways, I hope this helps some of you and I'll see you guys in the next one.